Yo, it's finally time to vote for the Dark Matters in NBA 2K22, my team, guys. And if you want to get some Dark Matters, leave a like right on the video. Subscribe to the channel with notifications on that way you don't miss any future videos. And let me know down below in the comments right now which Dark Matter you want the most out of every single one that we do have available. And basically, we got to get into it because the NBA 75 collection is finally going to be completed with the new season. And 2K already ended up releasing the poll and everything. So we're going to be talking about that too. And 2K ended up giving us a lot of options when it comes to these players. Now, obviously, this collection is going to be expensive especially the 2010s like you got LeBron you got Curry you got these other players you got Kevin Durant and Anthony Davis too and then even the 2000s took already told us what we're gonna be able to vote on and I'll show you guys exactly what I'm talking about so let me pull it up real quick on Twitter and let's take a look at what we got right here and bam so we got ourselves which player from 2000s do you want to see as an NBA 75 dark matter so they are going to be a dark matter it's gonna be a dark matter 100% and then also we do have the 2010s and this one, we got Klay Thompson, we got Draymond, we got Zion, and we got Embiid. I will say this, Klay Thompson and Embiid are going to be the top two choices for that one. And then for the other one, we got ourselves Dwight Howard, Boss, Ginobili, and Steve Francis. Ooh, Steve Francis actually has a really good diamond. I don't know if you guys remember, but we had a really good point guard one. And so that would definitely be pretty cheesy. I feel like Steve Francis and Dwight Howard are probably going to be the top two right there. I got to vote myself. I kind of want Dwight Howard because he got snubbed. He really should have been on the, uh, you know, on the list for the top 75 players. And I wouldn't mind seeing a dark man of Dwight Howard. But it really comes down to, like, if they're going to give him a three-pointer. If he's going to have a three-pointer, then he's definitely going to be a great option. But then also Steve Francis would be crazy, too. Ginobili, I mean, Ginobili's Ginobili and then Bosch. Bosch could actually be pretty good, too, when it comes to a dark matter. So we got some nice little uh, options right here. So Dark Matter Dwight, Dark Matter Bosch, Dark Matter Ginobili, Dark Matter Steve Francis. I think I'm going to go with, hmm, I do want to see the results. I wish I could just see the results, but I got to vote. And I'm going to go with, I'm going to go with Dwight Howard. You know, my boy right here. And bam, let's take a look at what we, oh my goodness, Dwight Howard is definitely winning at the moment. 43%. Bosch is definitely second. I'm actually surprised that more people didn't vote for Steve Francis just because, you know, his point guard card that we have is really good like the diamond one and so i thought a lot of people would go for him too but it looks like everybody you know is going for dwight howard right here definitely a great option especially if they do give him a three-pointer just because you know he's an athletic defense a big guy and then if he has a dark matter 99 overall card he could definitely have a three-pointer now these cards are going to be available on the first of march and this voting ends tomorrow oh they're ending it oh they're ending it super soon wow I thought, I thought it was going to last at least a couple of days. So they literally are just like, hey, you got a day to vote. You got till tomorrow. And bam. So it's really up to you guys what you want to vote, even though Dwight Howard is looking like he's, he's going to be in the, you know, he's going to end the wedding, it looks like. And then we do have ourselves the other one. Now, this one comes, you know, like Clay Thompson. We have Kobe. We have Tracy McGrady. Like, we have some dark matter shooting guards already in the game. And Embiid wouldn't be bad either. You know, Embiid would get a three-pointer. You know, even though I already voted for Dwight Howard, I kind of want MB too. I always love using his card as well. Zion, nah, no thank you. His Galaxy elbow was booty, unless they give him a new release. And then Draymond Green. Draymond Green at power forward, you know, he'd be a defensive guy too. But Clay Thompson, you know, he'd be an ISO god too, just because they always make him cheesy. You guys remember the diamond, you know, Clay Thompson we had. We do have a new one too with Clay Thompson. We did end up getting a new one. But uh, at the moment, though, I'm trying to see... You know, I'm trying to see what I want to vote for because we do have the Galaxy Opal Clay Thompson. And for Clay, we do have that signature series Galaxy Opal with his headband. But, you know, this Dark Matter one would definitely be better. I voted for Dwight Howard on this one, which not kind of, I mean, to be fair, though, I don't think it matter which one I voted on just because it's already at 43% for Dwight Howard. But I think for this one, I think I'm going to go with, let's see, probably I feel like Clay Thompson is going to be winning just because it's Clay Thompson. You know, he's super popular when it comes to all these cards right here or these players. Embiid and Klay Thompson are going to be the top two fan favorites. And I guess since I ended up voting for Dwight Howard, I'm going to go for Klay Thompson for this one. I was going to go Embiid because I do want a Dark Matter Embiid, but he does have that Galaxy Opal one too. A lot of these cards definitely do have like Galaxy Opals, except for uh, Draymond Green. He doesn't have a Galaxy Opal, but Zion does. And then on these, did everybody have a Galaxy Opal? Bosch and uh, no, that's it. Just Bosch only has the uh, Galaxy Opal. So this is definitely going to be a nice little upgrade right there. And then we got ourselves this one. So I guess I'm going to go with Clay Thompson because I do want to see the results right here. And oh, so Clay Thompson, 45%, basically. Yeah, as expected. It was either going to be Clay Thompson or Embiid. Let me know down in the comments which one you guys want because obviously it's still early. We still got like a whole day. But the fact that Clay Thompson is already this far ahead definitely does let you know that him and also Dwight Howard might end up being the winners unless Bosch makes a comeback. Dark Matter Bosch wouldn't be bad either. He could definitely be a stretch. 
But again, if they make Dwight Howard a three-point shooting center, he's definitely going to be an amazing card. Even though, to be fair, though, when it comes to these collections, you know, I showed you guys earlier, you know, you do have all these players that you got to lock in. So think about it, okay? If Dwight Howard ends up winning, you know, for the 2000s, you got to lock in Melo, Tim Duncan, Kobe, Dirk Nowitzki. You got to lock in Ray Allen. You got to lock in a couple of mystery players that we're missing. We're missing like Allen Iverson, Damian Lillard, and some more NBA 75 players that are still yet to be coming out, which they'll probably be coming out soon since they are in the sets. And so you definitely got to think about it when it comes to these. Like Melo right now, he's pretty cheap just because a lot of people are pulling him, even though it says there's none in the auction house. Hello? That, that makes no sense. Okay, there we go. There's probably a lot of them. So the 2000s definitely might be cheaper to lock in compared to, you know, the 2010s. You got players like Anthony Davis. I don't even got Anthony Davis. I got to buy him. Honestly, when it comes to locking in rewards, unless they're like a bowl bowl and stuff like that, you always, you, know, you guys remember that Kareem we had too in 2K20? That, that thing was crazy. But Kevin Durant right here, super expensive. So think about it. You'd be locking in all this MT for Klay Thompson. So just keep that in mind. If you do have some of these players, I would definitely keep an eye out on the auction house. You might be able to sell them for even more MT than they were going for before. Because some of these are definitely going to be a little bit more rare compared to like other players. I do wonder how much Kawhi is going for right now. Because this collection, yeah, this collection is going to be expensive. Even if it was Embiid, even if it was, you know, Klay Thompson that people were voting for. Or even just, you know, Draymond or Zion. You know, it's never really going to be worth locking in that unless they give them... Like a quick release, they give him every Hall of Fame badge. And 2K is not going to tell us anything about the stats, the badges, or anything until they come out. Which again, they are coming out on the 1st of March. And so we're basically voting for names at the moment. You know, you guys saw Klay Thompson, Draymond, Zion, and Embiid. Definitely, this is going to be an expensive collection. I do wonder how much Curry's going for right now too. Let's take a look. Yeah, Curry, oh my goodness. The good thing is I do have some of these NBA 75 cards collected. So it's going to be very interesting to see exactly... How much MT I'll be making with some of them. Because some of them I ended up keeping. Because I was like, okay, eventually, you know, we're going to be getting the rewards. And we're going to be getting the other rewards too. Like the 90s, the 80s, the 70s, and then the 60s as well. We're going to be seeing those, um, you know, get added as Dark Matters in the future too. But they're going to start us off with the 2010s and the 2000s. You guys saw who I voted for. Let me know who you guys want to see down below in the comments. I'm probably going to sell some of these players actually. Because Steve Nash right here. Man, even Steve Nash is back up to 70,000 MT. Wow. And I have a couple of those that I ended up saving. So that's good. I got a couple NBA 75 cards that I could definitely sell. And actually, I'll show you guys some of the ones I do have that I just never sold. For example, I do have a Clyde Drexler. I do have a nice little... What else do I got? I got Wade. I got Steve Nash. Definitely going to wait to see if he goes up even more in value. Definitely going to sell that. I have Dominique Wilkins. I have some of these cards that I ended up saving. Just because I knew eventually they were going to come out. You know what I mean? Tim Duncan... And then I got some other stuff too right here. So I'm definitely going to be selling these as the prices continue to go up. Especially if people wanting to be like, oh my goodness, I got to buy this card or I got to buy that card and everything. Even though realistically, I don't feel like a lot of people are going to be locking in that set just because it's going to be a lot of MT. Like just think about it, bro. You're locking in Galaxy Opals. There's still some that we're missing. And it's going to get crazy in the auction house when it comes to these cards right here. And with the way voting is going, it's looking like Clay Thompson and also Dwight Howard will be getting Dark Matters. We'll see what happens. Maybe the voting changes. You know, we do have basically until tomorrow. But it is looking like it's going to be Clay Thompson and Dwight Howard. And Dwight Howard right now, since he's looking like he's going to end the winning. Dwight Howard does have the Pink Diamond one. I do have that one. So he doesn't even have a Galaxy Opal. A lot of these cards do have Galaxy Opals. And so Dwight Howard right here. What's his three-pointer on this one? I'm trying to remember. What was that three ball on 44 so it might it might be you know a lot higher than that as a dark matter it could be a 60 could be a 70 very curious to see what 2k is going to do with his three pointer and then we do have the clay thompson which we already have a galaxy opal for clay we actually have two galaxy opals we have this one and then we do have the other one with the headband and then if you guys remember you know this diamond one was amazing and so they could definitely make him really cheesy too and i mean the collections are definitely going to be pricey especially the 2010s you guys saw all the players involved in that one too so i might not even like get it myself it really just comes down to like if the cards are going to be crazy to get can always end up releasing like some sort of packs with all the nba 75 players which maybe they might end up doing too you never know with 2k and so it really just comes down to like exactly how good they're going to be again we're not going to know the stats or the badges or anything 
anything until they do come out which is going to be on March 1st and so for me personally I'm just gonna wait and see what happens with those players too at the moment I do have some of the collections done and, and I do have some of these players and I do gotta sell some other ones too and I might tell them now that way you know I can get that extra MT for when we do end up getting the missing players and then also the collections and so that's gonna be how you're gonna be able to get those dark matters in case you're wondering you're like hey you know there's this talk about you know dark matter clay dark matter this and that there's a lot of options basically eight dark matter options that we can pick from and you guys saw the voting clay thompson draymond zion joel Embiid, and then we did also have the dwight howard chris bosh ginobili and steve francis as options for the 2000 and the 2000 cents i just mentioned as well so let me know down in the comments who you guys want to get again i feel like a lot of people aren't really going to be collecting those anyway because it's super expensive even though the 2000s that might be a different story since some of these cards are pretty cheap and if dwight howard becomes a god he might be worth locking in as well depending how good and cheesy they make him so definitely keep an eye out on the auction house with these players definitely just go out there see if you find some for the low low sell it for more maybe you have one maybe save it maybe sell it and this right is gonna be this video guys i just wanted to give you a heads up that more dark matters are coming you guys saw the video i did with the new season go check out that video too a lot of dark matters that we're gonna be seeing rewards players etc and so let me know who you guys want to see maybe a different dark matter maybe something else if you guys enjoyed this video and you want to get yourself your own dark matter leave a like on the video subscribe to the channel with notifications on comment down below and if you guys enjoyed this one check out the other videos that i uploaded we talked about season five all the rewards that we know so far and everything go check it out check out the pack opening i did with the sewer packs and then also check out this other upload and as always thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next video